Welcome to the Soul Align Podcast. This is Dr. Michelle Kraff. I'm so happy you joined me today. Here you'll find stories of magic, miracles, and soul. Pure, loving downloads that may be just for you at just the right time you need to hear them. May these stories and meditations awaken you to your own brilliance. May they remind you that you matter. Yes, you, your life, your thoughts, and your experiences. The more calm, clear, and connected we all are, the more magic and miracles we can create together. Okay, so enjoy. From my heart to yours, here we go. Have you ever loved someone so much and you want to speak to them and they're not around? Maybe they're gone from your life now and moved on. You miss them so much and miss the conversations that you had with that person. Maybe they passed away. I always wanted to be able to talk to my sister. And I thought that after she passed and left this planet that I was going to be able to hear her in my head. I was sure of it. And it definitely did not come as fast as I would like it to. I needed to get clear and remove all blocks to higher states of consciousness so that I could hear her. And there was a few years there where it was really challenging and I felt really lost without her in many ways. As you know, and I've shared in another story, she was my person. She was it. Her name was Lisa. Lisa was my person. One night, my husband and I were standing in our bathroom. I'll never forget it. I can see the mirror and I can see the little knickknacks sitting on the counter and the toiletries. And we were walking around between the bathroom and the bedroom and we were having a conversation. I remember being a little bit challenging. There wasn't a fight happening, but there was definitely a conversation that was taking place that was really important and escalating in a way that it required our full attention. And we were walking while we were talking back and forth. I was following him around and then we would change whose turn it was to talk. And then he was following me around. You know, you know that kind of conversation. And then the kids showed up and they were at our feet as we continued to continue to follow each other and walk around having this conversation. And it was, it was pretty loud. And I just remember thinking, gosh, this is, this is crazy. This is one of those circle conversations that goes nowhere. Just circle around, going nowhere. You say, he said, she said, she said, he said. You know the type I'm talking about. It's like, can we get a break, please, as we're following each other around. And I could just see us walking from the bathroom into the bedroom and then turning and then going back in to the bathroom with the little kids at our feet. So his phone starts ringing. My husband's phone starts ringing in his pocket and it continues to ring in his pocket as we're walking around. And I'm still talking (laughs) following him and it's still ringing and it just continues to ring in his pocket. It didn't go to voicemail and didn't stop ringing and the person on the other line did not hang up. Just ring, 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 right? And we're continuing to chat at each other, went up to the other walking around. And I'm thinking, right, who the hell is calling right now during this really important conversation with my husband? So he stops Uh, between the precipice, between the bathroom and the bedroom, this little space between, right? And he pulls out the phone from his pocket. And I'm thinking, is he going to take this call right now in the middle of this really important conversation that we're having? Is he going to take this call right now? Okay, so maybe you have those moments with your husband or partner. And he looks at the phone. Okay, have you ever seen those cartoons when someone sees a ghost, right? And their eyes are huge and the whites of their eyes become five times as big as the pupils. And then the pupils and the eye, the white part of the eye are all bulging out of the socket in a really abnormal way. And then the forehead is creased and it starts to crease and it's creasing and the lips are super thin and (laughs) pressed tightly together. (laughs) this is what my husband looked like. 
that face, that caricature of someone who had just seen a ghost. So he's staring at the phone face and I'm still talking. I'm wondering who the heck is this person calling? And his face doesn't change and his eyes bulge farther and farther out of his head and he's completely silent. And I come to silent and I swear in that moment I can feel the quickening of his heartbeat. And in the room between us, there's just this space and everything slows way down. And now I can feel my heart beat, right? That kind of phone call where you're wondering who that caller is. Who is that caller? A space in the room, the heartbeat's getting louder, and the kids are at our feet looking up with us with wide eyes. And then he turns the phone to show to me who the caller is. There on my husband's phone screen, In between the bathroom and the bedroom, on the phone screen was the name L.K. Madigan, which was my sister's author pseudonym name. It's the first initial and the second initial and her last name with no face on it, ringing and ringing and ringing and ringing. My sister is calling us from heaven and we're all standing there looking at the phone in complete silence. My husband, myself, my son, and my daughter in this quiet, peaceful, timeless space looking at the phone screen. And then the phone stops ringing. We stand there in silence and I start crying quietly. And my husband says to me, call for you. And I continue to cry. There's no more conversation. There's no more, there's nothing needed more to discuss. We are complete. In that moment, the reality of what matters and the magic of all of it is floating between us in the bedroom around us and through us, not missed by any of us in that moment when there's the call from heaven. Call for you. Well, hello. Hello from heaven. And for those of you who are wondering, which I know there's those of you that are wondering, (laughs) you just can't help it, you, right? So my husband had my sister saved in his phone as Lisa. He never had created a contact with her first initial, middle initial, and last name from a name that she only used to author her books. He never saved that in his context. And I know you're wondering, so for those of you wondering as well, we did call the number back and it said, this person is no longer available. Hmm. This is Dr. Michelle Kraft. I hope you're uplifted, opened, and transformed in some way today. Remember, when you are aligned with soul, anything is possible. Make sure to subscribe so you know when all new stories are released and give five stars to show you love them. Hmm. You can connect with me at soulalign.com. I look forward to hearing from you. Until the next time, to be continued. Aloha.